Hello there folks and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today it's time for part 3 of the new season, part 120 as a whole of the whole Snooker 19 career. And today we play in the quarter final at the Paul Hunter Classic against Ding Junhui, a player that we've only played against once in his career. Mode, all the way back last June in the Northern Ireland Open. And uh, we lost to him by three frames two in the first season. So it's been a long time since we played Ding. And to be quite honest and, and be admitted here, at the top eight, probably maybe Bar Jack Lazowski, uh, Ding Junhui is the player I probably underestimate the most. Those top six you're pretty fearful of when you play them. But I think we've got a real good chance against Ding Junhui. Of course, we beat Ronnie O'Sullivan in the last game by three frames to one. It was great revenge for that uh, World Championship defeat by 13 frames 6. It was a good episode, that was. I really enjoyed recording that one. So if you haven't watched that one yet, I really recommend you do so uh, before watching this one against Ding Junhui. But this should be a good match. A semi-final chance in the Porter Classic on the line here. And we're just targeting every single tournament this year, really. Trying to get as far as we can in these early tournaments. Build up some good momentum as we come up to the really important tournaments of the season. We've got the Shanghai Masters coming up, which we did well in, in Season 2. But as David Hendon says there, there's only eight players left now so we've got all the way from 128 to here so it seems silly not to give it our all to try and win the Paul Hunter Classic but we've got to get past Ding Junhui and two more players to win that trophy so let's focus on this first game first off. So it's ourselves the Thunder from down under to break in this first frame. We did play well against Ronnie and the message was to keep it simple and that's exactly what we're going to try and do today. It's not even been two minutes into the video and the dog's making a cameo. Bloody hell. Ooh, that was a good safety. I thought that he'd come off the, the cushion and actually hit the pack of reds there. That would have been pretty awful. But that was a good safety from Ding. It's uh, a fairly decent and easy one to combat, though, I would say, by just hitting this red here and coming back up to the ball cushion. That should be a nice shot. That should be lovely. Just in behind the yellow. And that's a cracker. We've got the snooker. Gonna have to play this off the cushion. Play this at some pace. And is he going to get away with it? And the answer is no. He's left a straight pot on. So a little bit of luck there with our safety. Doesn't usually come that easily. But we have got the first chance in this first frame. That was a bit of a slice of luck, wasn't it? Goodness me. It was a good shot by us. It's a very good snooker. And uh, we wait, reap the rewards at least short term for it. It's going to be tricky to get a frame winning clearance here because the Reds are in a little bit of an awkward position and being right uh, level with the blue wasn't exactly what we were aiming for here, but We'll try and play for the one red. If this goes wrong, obviously we've only got the one option, so it's worth going for though. Should be in okay for it, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, absolutely fine. I'm just gonna play with some top, come off the cushion, go back up for the blue. Just split the reds, that isn't harmful, but the blue has gone away, so it's gonna have to be the brown here, which I guess leaves us a bit of flexibility in the middle of that table, doesn't it? With um, no pressure of the blue being there to hamper us. I'm going to play a nice little soft shot here and try and get on this one on the cushion. It'll be a long pot, but I'm fairly confident in it. Here. Nice clean pot. We're on the pink now. Now the pink should go back in its spot here. There's more than enough room. As it does. That was the plan. Would have gone a bit awfully wrong if that wasn't the case. Play this with pace. I know we weren't going to get in position for any of the 
black or the pink. So we just have to play with some pace and consult one of these bulk colours. Let's have a look at the possibilities once uh, we play this blue. Hmm. Bit of risk involved here. Need a bit of the look of the table here. Great Thirty one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, where is this? Cue ball going. Just going to knock the pink on. That's absolutely fine. 32. Gives a bit of a get out of jail free card, actually. A little bit awkward on this red, but it should be doable. Can't see any problems here. <sighs> Just about drops in. We might go for the blue here, just gives that a little bit more flexibility with position. But off to a good start here. This is encouraging to see. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. That's a tremendous pot. 44. Well, that's left him a little awkward there. Forty-five. It is awkward, isn't it? That red's just not going to be reachable. Hmm. Maybe change our strategy here then. We should go over hit and hope shot. Looking to play this with a lot of power. See if we Not get any sort intended. of position. Mm, doesn't look like it. There's a potential. There's a sniff at a pot, potentially. 49. No, there's not. I thought we might have got a chance, but no, there's not a chance, but that's absolutely fine. It's a decent break of 49, and we can just play a safety up the table. As you can see, the Reds are absolutely safe. Neil Robertson, 49. Risk is now is that uh, Ding plays a good safety and he gets in. Mm, it's not too bad. Let's leave a few opportunities though, but it was a good safety by Ding. And he's going for the red, and he's got it. But where's the cue ball going? It's not going to be an optimum position at all. This is tough. Going to play the yellow. Oh, sorry, he's not. He's going to play the brown. I thought he was playing the yellow from that angle there. So it's Ding's first chance in this first frame. But a short-lived chance. It really was short-lived. Felt like there was a bit of an element of safety in there. But it didn't really work out for him. And this pot into the right corner. didn't really make the most of that, in my opinion. It was a good pot from us, though, there. He seems full of confidence at the moment. One. No real problem here. Well, would you believe that? We were so close to potting it. 
And it has to be said, if we'd have potted that a colour in another red, the frame would have been over. That was poor, that was. So this could be a steal for Ding here. That was a real shame. So close. But sometimes you just get a little bit complacent when the balls are going for you. You feel like you know when all the balls are going to go in. It was so tight. But just hit both jaws of the pocket. And when it does that, it ain't going to go in. So Ding's got a second chance here now. Didn't make the most of that at all. And it feels like to me that Ding's not going to miss this chance this time. Well. So 35 man on the table. He's 25 back at the moment. Challenging pot along the cushion here. He's going to play the big one, the black. And so as we move on to the colours, if he pots the black, he'll be 17 behind. We have 27 man on the table. But that's mm, a little bit of a loose shot. Should be able to still pot the yellow. Oh, he does. Good pot. 28. Good recovery. And he does look good here. It has to be said that I'm struggling to think of a way that Ding will lose this frame now. Fairly routine and uniform clearance of these three last colours. We'll go down to the black. I'd be very shocked if he missed this. But with that break of 53, Ding Junhui steals the first frame from us. Real shame that was, but not much we can do about it. Just got to make sure that we don't make the same mistakes in any future frame. So after one frame, Ding Junhui is one frame ahead. We were playing some good snooker that frame, to be fair. A little bit unlucky. It's a good chance for a starter though. No real point playing for the blue here because we're not going to get a position on any red. So try and play this fairly accurately and hopefully this goes right for us. Mm, didn't really work out, did it? Oh well. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Good pot on the green. And actually, that hit on the blue, unless this carries on, it's going to open up a red for us. So, a little bit of luck involved there. Nice position on the black. See if we can play into the reds then now. Play this with plenty of power. That's a great split. You'll be a lucky it's a good split. It is a good split, definitely. Pink's move as well. Blue's off its spot. So for the moment, we've got that little bit extra flexibility. Need to take this chance, though. Play some good snooker there to get ourselves in this position. 13. Pink, of course, back on the blue spot. Because of the red on the pink spot. Decent position on the pink here. 20. Let's have a look what the best chance was there for a pot. Then you start to kick yourselves when it all goes wrong. If, oh, I wish I'd have checked that. 
position looks good for a color. 34. Forty-one. This should be straightforward enough. Forty-two. Could have done with not being so straight on the black. That's ended up more awkward than he would have wanted. Forty-nine. Quite all right. We can pop that into the middle. If it does go, we're just going to check. Middle pocket's never very forgiving, but that's a good part. Split those three reds up, that'll certainly help us. This is going well at the moment for a quick quick fight back. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. No problem there. Balls are just running for us at the moment. Now with this red past the blue into this pocket. No. I'm going to have to go for a long pot up the table. It's the only choice we have, really, unless we want to really try and play a fancy shot. So, this red here should be okay, you would have thought. Playing this with plenty of power. Good pot. Absolutely Clean perfect. connection. Well, we couldn't have played that any better. Superb positional shot. 66. This pot for snookers required. And in it goes. That should be it. No real way for the opponent to win the frame now. 72. Just wants to sink this into the... Not ideal on this red at all. We have missed it, so Ding might have a chance here to play some snookers, potentially. That didn't really work, did it? That's all I could see what he was trying to do. We can play this red. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Just ensure that he doesn't come back to the table. Don't need to worry about potting too much here. Just get this black and probably the red up the table. And then Ding won't bother coming back. It was a good break from us. It really was. Felt in full flow there. Getting position from that pink shot was always going to be a bit awkward. And we did underplay it a little. That's a nice Brilliant. long pot. And just to end any hopes of Judd coming back to the... Uh, Judd? Huh, <laughs> don't know we're playing here. Just to end any hopes of Ding coming back to the tail, we'll get it behind the brown. It's not quite the snooker, but he's not going to come back now. And there we go. As quick as that, we've done well. And it's back at one apiece. So it's now best of three. And that is the frame. Well played. No advantage at the moment. A very tight match. Yes, no obvious advantage at the moment. This is pretty close. It's a good break off. Limits Ding's options. And where's that cue ball going? Right to the corner pocket. Oh, you lost control of the cue ball there. Oh yeah. dear. Wow. Neil Robertson. Not great for, for Ding at all. We've got a little bit of a chance here. It's a tight pot this on the cushion, but it's the best chance I think out of all of them. He's aiming for the left corner here. It's there. 
Excellent. Great pot. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. One. And we're in again in this frame. Six. Seven. A little bit awkward on this pink. Lining this up into the right middle pocket. Ooh, lucky to drop that was. Wonderful shot. Thirteen. Pink now off its spot. Luckily that red went. Got us out of jail a bit. It's going to be tricky this break, but we're showing initiative at the moment. Playing well. Nineteen. Try and get onto these reds now and split them up. Lots of power on this shot. Good split. That's I think really we potted two reds there. That was a good split, just what we needed, and that makes our task just that bit easier. Twenty-one. It's always a risky well, shot to take on these. Are the I said it was. Ah. Oh! No, not quite. Close, what was the message at the start? Keep it simple. Neil Robertson, 21. Keep it simple, man. Oh, silly, silly, silly snooker that was. I jinxed myself there. But I almost felt like it was the right shot to take on regardless. Nicely positioned for the play. I'll be kicking myself now if Ding goes and win this, wins this frame. Particularly after we just produced that great split. We worked hard to get that. And only got a break of 25 out of it. Nine. Not good enough, that wasn't. I mean, those middle pockets aren't very forgiving, but we should have just played one of those colours to the middle pocket. And if we weren't confident enough to do that, then just get behind one of them. But you can get very greedy sometimes, and when you're in good form, particularly at the snooker table, you can get very cocky and complacent and start playing fancy shots. And this is exactly what I was saying earlier. Keep it simple. Don't play any fancy shots. Just keep it to what you know, what's definitely going to go in. And play the percentages game. If you're not sure that it's going to go in, then go for the safe shot. Because Ding has got a great chance now to evaporate any chance we had of winning this frame. He stole the first one from us. Can't see any problems here. We did all the hard work. We did all the donkey work. And it could be Ding that benefits. But let's see. 43. It's a good narrow pot that was. Good just I was gonna say good strategic move. Well, good strategic move, I suppose. I'm gonna say strategy, but we'll go with the fancy term strategic move to get rid of that red. That was lovely getting rid of that black as well. So all three reds are in the open now, albeit that one on the closest to the left middle pocket. It is a little bit narrow, but he uh, might not need that. Very well played. And after this red, he'll just need the colour. Blue or above will require me needing snookers. That was a great pot that was on the pink. Shuts the door on his 
opponent in this frame. Great break of 62 so far. Locks away the last red and that evaporates any chance. Evaporates? Don't know where I've got the word evaporate from. 66. We've got no chance going back to the table now. A very strong break from Ding. Unfortunately not quite going to get the century. Potential of 93 on here though. 71. We can't afford 71. to make that sort of mistake again. So it means we've got to win the next two frames to get into the semi-final. We can't make any mistakes because that's exactly what that can turn into. A win a win for the opponent. And quite an easy one as well. But he's going from the other side. Uh, I think he actually went from this in the second frame. So same as the second frame. Strategy to break off from there. No, I don't think it was actually. Because he left a pot this side, so no, he didn't. in the spirit of keeping things safe. I don't think that's a bad shot. Well, you wouldn't think he'd try and pop that red that's loose if we played it up here, wouldn't you? Yes, we're not going to get a safety behind a, a ball, but you wouldn't think he would try and take that narrow pot on. That's my thinking behind that shot. He's attempting to get the white tight on the cushion. We'll tight that, good shot. Ding's given us early chance in every frame so far. This is the first safety battle we're having at the start of the frame. That was a good shot. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball? Well... That's a problem because it leaves Judd a ch a ju I keep saying Judd. Goodness knows where Judd's coming from. But this gives Ding a chance. But where's the cue ball? Well, unbelievable. Potted the red. He's getting cheers from the crowd. But uh, that was a bit of a stinker. Potted the red and just went in off. Not going to like that one bit. Really feared that was his chance. And that we wouldn't have another one. But we get away with potting the cue ball because he's done exactly the same thing there. No more than half a chance here. Good pot. Lost the cue ball attached here. Oh, shut up. Bye. Bloody nail folds. Oh, he's lost the he's cue ball. At the right pace. Six. wonder if the black will go here. No, it won't. It's a little bit unfortunate. Would have been a nice, easy shot. Can't have it easy all the On time, though, can you? Right up his street. Need to create some sort of chance from this blue. And we're pretty much straight on it, so not the best really. So I've got a chance to split these reds though. See how we go. It's not, not terrible. Certainly not too bad at all. He's left that a little bit more tricky than he would have liked. Yeah, definitely. 18. Do a gravy for once, Neil Folds. Should apply that green. Of 
come off the cushion. Let's try and work out how much power we need. That will do. Again, not perfect, but it's okay. Bit of pressure on us here now. One mistake and it could all be over. What a fabulous pop that is. Superb cubal control there. Ideal position. I wouldn't call it ideal. <laughs> Twenty-two. This is no gimme. What a top shot that is. Oh, wonderful shot. Can't remember playing the brown into the middle pocket so much in a game. Never mind in a few shots. He's aiming for the left corner here. And in it goes. He's right on top of his game at the moment. 27. I have to split this pack again. That split is not bad at all. Great That's a good split. An easy tapping to start us off. This pot to drop into the pocket. Thirty-four. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Well, an excellent pot. I think we've got our mojo back, you know. I really do. Again, I don't want to jinx myself. Probably will now. I really do think we've got our mojo back. Still an uphill struggle to come and win this game. Just gonna make sure we do it all in this frame and then uh, win a decider. Prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. What a magnificent pot that is. Forty six. I'm underdone it a little bit there for the blue. It's not ideal. 47. So the pink will go. Glad I spotted that. So this pot into the right corner. That's a great pot. He's playing very well here. 53. No black played at all yet this frame. Nicely positioned for the blue here. 54. Or, oh, you know, the pink that was straight on. Just the pink needed here. In it goes. And, that and that was good, that was. That should be it in this frame. 60. Just going to make sure we can confirm that. 61. For the pot into the right middle. What a top pot that was. Sixty seven. Could have with a bit more power on that. It's okay. He's going for the left center here. Close that was. 74. Could have gone very wrong. What's position like? 75. Not bad at all. Try and knock this into the top pocket. Be a pretty special really shot. Tricky. Lovely. Brilliant. Be a big confident boost to get a century in this frame.
89. So this will go down to a decider. But an enjoyable match so far. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And one frame away from booking a place in the semi-final of this tournament. I think we've only been to the last 16 in the last two years. So even if we go out today, that is further on than we've been before. Just the blue needed for that century. This will make it two centuries in two videos. Fantastic and there you go, ton up. Great stuff. Attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. The crowd loving the snooker being played here by us. And uh, just the one red off a of full clearance, but with that break of 116, we take it down to a decider. Should be a good frame, this. Don't go away. It's ourselves to break. Yes, he just needs to hold his nerve and keep the pressure on his opponent. Didn't really want to hit that full ball. Not giving too much away though. Tricky pot. Okay. He's going for the pot and he's off to a start here. Mm, well. One. Crafty Dieter, but he's got it all wrong. Serves him right. I think we'd have played the same shot, so I can't say too much. But he tried to get it behind the colour, and it really didn't work. Played it far too hard, and allows us to get an easy safety. So, misjudgment there from Ding. And again, a poor safety shot. Really was a poor safety shot, goodness me. Tricky shot here. Nice red. One. Need a bit of luck with his split. I think he's playing this with a lot of power. How's our luck? Where's the cue ball? Needs to pull up. It's okay. Eight. Certainly not ideal, I have to admit. Don't want to be taking this sort of pot on and decide it. He's going for it. It's Brilliant. there though. Excellent. Great connection. Nine. Just need to bear in mind the bulk colours aren't where they usually are. So we need to stay down this top cushion if we can help it. Get the reds moving again. Mm, it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all, that isn't. Some people will be quite confident playing that pink. I'm not. Really not in this decider. The only solace is, is that he should only really get half a chance from here. Neil Robertson, 15. Just depends on the risk he wants to take. It could be a fatal not shot, that. One, but, a half chance. but he's played the first red and potted it. Could that be a mistake? The real mistake was playing that split too soft. And now it's me who's feeling a little bit awful. There wasn't too much we could have done there. We could have gone for the pot and probably left more on. And that's what I feel like, a bit of a moron. <laughs> Had to get that in there. He's aiming for the left corner here. But he's given leads away before. But honestly, I feel a bit worried here because I don't see it. 22. And I feel like we've massively screwed that up. 
That's frustrating. Ah. Should just not applied that split. Should have just kept it simple. But you know, it's all well and good. If that had gone well, we'd have been applauding ourselves. So much a great split it was. Forty-two. Forty-three. It feels like he's very quickly doing this here. Forty-nine. Fifty. Already thirty-six ahead. And that sinking feeling, he starts setting now. Oh, I think he's going to do it here. So, just his blue required. 61. Hmm, well. Safety would be a test of his skills. There's 43 left on the table. He hasn't quite finished the job. 61. Pace is key here. Be nice to get it behind these. Bulk colours. Haven't quite That's done that. Shot. We have, but we have done, we've got the snooker. Where's that cue ball going? Oh, you jabby git. Oh, if that would have gone in, that would have given us a chance. You jammy sod. Just thought that might be the get out of jail free card we needed. But a big target here with these Bulk colours, and we've got the snooker this time. Played that very well. He just wants to avoid the foul here. That'll keep his opponent. He's avoided the foul. That's annoying. I have to play a pot here, I think, to be honest. But also get on the black, which mm, is a tricky task. So we're going to have to just, unfortunately, live with the fact that we probably need two snookers. Beauty. One. Hmm. Long pot's on, and he's going for it. So what do we do now? Oh, wonderful shot. What do we do now? Six. Get your thinking cap on. We're going to have to play the red, aren't we? We haven't really got much choice here. Seven. Maybe play the pink or the, the, um, the blue and just try and get this pink in behind the brown and the green. That's all I can think of. It's very soft. Hmm. It's not quite happened there. Needs a lot more power on that. Well, that's not worked out quite. He could pot this. Do. It could be game over. He's Good. not. But he's got us in a predicament here. Wanted to be the other way around, but it's not. Well, we've hit the yellow, but as you can see, That's a, mm, poor shot. a really poor shot. It's game over now, unfortunately. I think, folks. Oh, it's so annoying. Two. Really frustrating. You know, one mistake. One bloody mistake. Five. <sighs> I mean, we might as well keep on going here. Really no harm. And we've got the snooker, but it's an easy enough one to get out of. Well, he's managed the snooker. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, he's out of it. Certainly not going to get the snooker this time, are we? In fact, we're going to leave a straight pot on. Oh, so bloody frustrating. 
so near yet so far. He's actually missed the brown. Again, we might as well just keep on playing here. That was it though, I think, unfortunately. Just going to tap this in. And it is going to be game over now. Oh, man. Well, we've got our mojo back, but that's just something you have to take sometimes. End of the day, that third frame. Hadn't made a silly mistake, we wouldn't have got to a decider. And we gave this frame away as well. So, what can you do? Really frustrating, but again, what can you do about it? Really wanted to get through to the semi there. Couldn't quite do it. As you can see, we actually got uh, 60 more points than Ding. That's a real sucker. It's a real shame, that is. But what can you do, eh? <sighs> Just got to live with it. It wasn't 60, actually. It was 57. But that's a sucker punch. We're out to the Pullman's a classic. <laughs> We've our own faults and look who the champion is again, Mark Selby. Unbelievable. Shocker. That's really frustrating. But oh well. We fight another day. Judd Trump getting ever close to Mark Selby now. It feels like Ding's gone up a little bit as well in the rankings. Anyway, it's an invitational event next. Two invitational events. We've got the Six Reds Championship and the Shanghai Masters. And then we've got uh, the China Championship. That's the next ranking event. But in the group stage, round one, we're going to be playing against Joe Pair. I've never played the Six Reds Championship before, so I'll have to look up at what we have to do and that sort of thing. But we'll be covering that in the next few episodes. So if you enjoyed that, even though I'm absolutely gutted that we're out the Paul Hunter... We can learn from our mistakes, I suppose. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment as well uh, to let me know what you thought of that match. And subscribe for regular snooker content. We're going up to four videos a week on snooker on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on a Sunday, all at 6pm British time. So if you're looking forward to that, leave a like down below. Thank you very much for your company today, and I will see you guys later on. Goodbye for now.